What is going on, beautiful people? It's been a long time, I know. This is current day, actually. I'm editing the episode for the King Cobras, and I have a little message for you. Before this video begins, I need to tell you guys why these King Cobras had to be rescued in the first place, okay? The thing is, in Thailand, King Cobras are protected species. So, for example, if you own a business where you remove snakes from people's houses, you're supposed to take the king cobra back to the wilderness and let it go. If you need to keep it in captivity, the rule is about two weeks, no more than that, then it's illegal. So the thing is, we went to a snake farm that did house calls, and instead of bringing the animals back to the wild, they were hoarding them inside a concrete enclosure for an exhibit. Obviously, this isn't proper husbandry. That's not how you keep king cobras. They're cannibalistic, they're intelligent animals, and they stress out very easy. So for example, all these king cobras, you can look at every individual as we capture them throughout the video, and you can inspect them yourselves. Some you see uh, their spines are exposed from not eating. Some of them you can see their faces are rubbed out for being in a cage with metal mesh. And some of them you can see have scale rot from being on wet concrete that's filthy, and eventually their scales just eat away. So you're gonna see that with the biggest king we captured. Notice on his belly in the video, he's got scale rot. So it's nasty stuff. Uh, you know, I didn't go there, I didn't argue with the owner of the facility, I wasn't looking for a fight or anything like that. I'm a foreigner coming to a different country, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life, do everything. I would like to educate on proper husbandry and how to do things a little bit better, but at the end of the day, what I was doing, uh, you know, whether it would fix the situation or not, I wanted those individual animals out of that facility. They were in a bad situation, I didn't want them there anymore, they were going to die. They were, I saw them, I, I, it's like me at a reptile shop, I see a, like a, a pretty little lizard, and I'm like, I don't want you to stay here, I want you to come home with me, so. I saw the king cobras, and I had that feeling for all ten of them, <laughs> and I offered the owner a price for all the king cobras, and he made me a deal, we came back to the facility, and we collected them up to release on a private property in the wilderness. So, thank you Chris, thank you David, and thank you Lucas, thank you guys so much for coming out and helping me with this big situation. I definitely had my hands full, so it was nice to have experienced hands with me. David, Chris, and Lucas have been around reptiles their whole lives. Anyways, like I said, do I think the situation is going to be solved by paying the guy off for the King Cobras? Is he going to use the money to better his facility? I don't know. I don't know the guy personally. All I know is I was able to get those individuals out of that bad situation, and I hope the guy doesn't end up doing it again. So, with that being said, I love King Cobras, I'm very passionate about them, and I felt like I had to do this. You guys know by watching my channel how much I feel about wildlife in general, specifically reptiles, King Cobras, stuff like that. So I was pretty happy to be able to accomplish this and get these animals out of that bad situation. And to make things very, very clear, the only way any of this was possible to pay for my ticket to get out to Southeast Asia, to pay for all these King Cobras to get out of that bad situation, is because of you guys. It all came from the YouTube money. Thank you so much for watching these videos, and thank you for supporting everything I do. Enjoy the video, guys. What is going on, beautiful people? We are here at the snake farm, and this is the enclosure that they bring all the king cobras into. So basically, whenever they get a house call, they bring the king cobra in here, and they place it in there. Only problem is there's quite a few, so what we're going to do is we're taking 10 of these king cobras out, and we're going to go cut them loose into a nice remote jungle that's on a private property with an owner that loves snakes and protects them. So. We're going to take some of these king cobras out. So what I'm going to do is, one by one, I will bring the king cobras out and place them in these bags. We only have four, and we're getting ten king cobras. So we're going to see which ones we want to pick out. I've got David Speed behind the camera. I've got Christopher Shanna over here. Chris Sweet. Lucas. <laughs> just jump in. Spicy one first. Are you ready? All right, guys. We have the first king cobra right here. Watch my back for the others. All right, guys. We've got the first king cobra. It is a small sub adult. Pretty flighty, as you can see. It's not coming back on me. It doesn't want anything to do with me. Now, what I want you to do is, can you please hand me that bag over there? Just have it ready, just right to the side. Now, if I'm getting quiet, it's 
because I'm focusing on what I'm doing. I've never handled this snake in my life. So I've got to take a moment to read that body language and keep myself from getting a bite. Now all these king cobras still have their venom. There we go. So, I want to be very gentle and place that last third of the body. Here, let me grab that too. Right. So, grab that large portion first. It's really hard because I don't have the equipment that I'm used to using back home, like custom boxes for lappets with holes on the side where the animal can just shoot back in. Nice hiding spot here. It's kind of rough because. The snake can still see all the bags, so he wants to keep escaping. But this is all temporary. You want to tie that up? Thank you. This is Lucas, very nice man from Czech Republic. Okay, so that king cover is going to get another snake in there, and it's going to have another mate. Okay, looks like big boy. Just checking everything out. Leave him alone. This is the largest king cobra they have in the facility right now. But as you can see, his face is very beat up. Look at that. Very beat up on the face. So, best thing to do. Nice. Gotta watch out for this king cobra too. See, he's not even that aggressive. He's more lethargic, if anything. There we go. Alright, you guys ready? He's a bit defensive. I don't think this guy's been handled much while he's been here. This is a very large king cobra. He reminds me of Kevin back home. He's these southern Thai kings look very similar to Malaysian king cobras because they are found in a similar environment. So they have to match with that coloration, that terrain. Nice and gentle. He's an old boy, so we don't want to hurt him. Who gets me open yeah. the bag? Thank you. You can see where his face is real beat up on the side and in the front from rubbing into the metal. It's not real good to keep snakes in cages with chicken wire because they're constantly trying to get out. They see an exit. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a big one. There we go. This guy, most likely, we're going to keep in the bag by himself because he's so large. Yeah. That's a big head. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Ready? Now he can bite through the bag. It is a front fixed fang, it isn't a lapid, so easily could get through this mesh. People get bit by snakes more in the bag than they do actually handling the animals. You see the false illusion they're safe, that the snake's not gonna bite them. Look at this guy. He's ready to go. You ready? Yeah. There we go. As you guys can see, this one's a bit underweight. It's spine showing. So hopefully the new ecosystem really releases them in. There'll be plenty of food from the chow down on, plenty of snakes. 
the area we're going to be going to is a very flourishing ecosystem. Lots of wildlife. Ready? Obviously, this is not the best way of transporting king cobras. <laughs> but we are in Thailand and we're making do with what we got. Sweet. Okay, three king cobras. Plenty more to go. You can see this guy actually has a stuck shed and one eye. If we take this snake, then we can help him out and get that cap off so he's not permanently blind if he ends up not getting the, the right humidity to shed that off. This one in the back is a very touchy snake. We've already been introduced to these two kings. Look at that, both posturing. Beautiful king cobra, definitely would like to help it. And it seems like he's already exiting, so it's fine. He's gonna Just make it easy for me. Out. There we go, straight out of the enclosure. There he goes. Looking around, he's thinking, these are very intelligent animals. First instinct is not to bite, it's always to flee, or to crap on you. Now before we put him in the bag, let's check out this arm real quick. Let's see if we can help her out. There you go, hold. The main cap broke off, so that's good. Look how beautiful that snake is. Should inspect them all before release. Oh yeah. We do have to check them all because there are a lot of ticks on these snakes. We wanna make sure they're not super uncomfortable when we release them into a new ecosystem. Okay, let's uh, pick out another one. This, I think the most dangerous thing cover in this enclosure is this sub-adult, maybe male. He charges, he comes flying out. Oh, this one's beautiful, look at this. Look at this king cobra. Real calm too. We'll see about that in a second. Not even hooding up. Just a very inquisitive, checking everything out. Looking to climb something higher. Oh no, he's checking Chris out. Look at that. Beautiful snake. I think this one's gonna be doing quite good where we're gonna release it. Ay, coño! Ready? Into this one? Yeah, hopefully. And I can't stress enough, there are better ways of transporting King Cobras, but we're doing what we can with what we can here at the Snake Farm. They don't have a lot to spare, a lot to give us. I just gotta get to his last third of his body. There we go. There we go, that's what I wanted. Ooh, fire me, watch out, watch out.
This is the most aggressive king that's in this enclosure. <laughs> Definitely one that's not afraid to take a bite out of somebody. the most aggressive king in the whole enclosure, bagged up. This is the one that was no joke, constantly flying at us, chasing us from one side of the enclosure to the other. So definitely one that we're glad he's biting the bag. Definitely one that we're happy to get out of So he's defecating. I guess he's not happy about this, but he's gonna be pretty happy once he sees where he's going. We're covered in king cobra crap. Look at that. All my boots, all my pants, in my mouth. It's spicy. All right guys, this is the last of the King Cobras. We have four more we have to pick out from this little group. A little bit of a sketchy situation because they're all in one big pile. So let me see how everyone's temperament is. I don't want to pick up this guy's attention too fast. There we go. Let's see if this one wants to come out. Looking for an exit. Come on, we're going to the woods. Gently grabbing him, making him feel like he's still doing what he wants. Oh, he's about to poop. I can feel him gurgling. Beautiful king, look at that. Good body shape, body size. I think this one's gonna do pretty good. Where are we gonna end up letting it go? I think this one might be a female, actually. Mm. You think so? Yeah, it is. Nice and smooth. All right, you ready? There we go. Ready? Okay, how do you close this? I don't know. It oh, it's a zipper. Yeah, yeah it's a zipper. Okay, so this okay, is a like legit that. pillowcase. Okay, give me one second. Let me get that head again. Okay, you ready? <laughs> and there's a hole right there. This Hi. one. Okay, let's get something to tie this hole up right here. Good stuff. Thank you. You're welcome, mate. And no, I didn't get bit by a venomous snake. If you guys are seeing all my bruises and cuts and whatnot, I fell off a motorbike. It's apparently pretty common here in Thailand to have a scar before you leave. So no, I haven't been envenomated. And this is from a boat engine. Stop asking me if I got bit. Okay, more left feet pillowcases. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Ready? Let's go. You want to give him a little distraction? Yeah. Use your foot or something? I got David's feed behind the camera. Grew up here in Thailand. He is 
100% comfortable with king cobras and other lapid species. He grew up around these snakes, handling them and studying them from a very young age. And then we got Chris in the background as well, from Thailand. Hey. Avid snake handler and lover of king cobras. So we're all here. Okay, you ready? Got all three of these king cobras. going and the one in my left hand seems like he's oh there he goes look at that defecating all over the place trying to make me pay attention to what's coming out of his ass instead of what's coming out of his fangs let's go we all got a king good stuff this is going to be so good Got the zipper ready? All right, sweet. We got a bunch of king covers. Now, we got all of them in these bags. They're going to be in here overnight. We're going to select a perfect area to release some of them, but we're actually going to hop from different spots try to spread them out as much as possible so they have their own territories. Mr. Lucas, I'm just gonna put some more on the seat right in here. There we go. Okay. So I'm thinking I'll sit on the far side, Lucas, and you sit on my lap, okay? 